Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at drawing shapes. So we're going to explore the graphics API just a little bit. And uh, at the moment we've got this uh, applet and I'm going to start by just um, resizing the applet a bit. So let's go to um, main here and in init I'm going to say here set size and let's set it to maybe 600 by 500 that should be a good size to work with and let's run that there we go it's better okay so I'm going to go to my met my game component here and I'm going to work with this paint component method and I'm going to add just a couple of shapes in here so to to add shapes you basically need to well firstly you'll want to set the colour so I want to say g2 dot let's um, move this out here so those two lines need to go together because we're setting the background colour here and then filling the background and then I want to say g2 dot set colour and let's have a red sphere here um, so I'll say set colour colour dot red red and I'm going to use a method called g2 dot fill um, there's also g2.draw and I want to draw a circle and I want my circle in this case to be filled um, all the way through so I'll use fill if I just wanted to draw literally a circle like the edge of a circle then I would use draw and now I'm going to tell it to draw a shape so I'm going to create a new shape here and the type of shape that I'm going to use is um, it's ellipse2d and it's actually an inner class of the Ellipse 2D class called double that allows you to, supp to supply um, double precision arguments for the ellipse parameters. Um, so the let's see, let's just add the import there for Ellipse 2D and maybe we can bring up some more help information. So we've basically got the x, y width and height of this ellipse. For x I'm just going to put in 100 this is pixels and y100 this is pixels and the y measures from the top of the screen down and since it's say uh, going to be a, a circle I'm going to make um, let's make this maybe I don't know 15 by 15 so 15 high and 15 wide and if I run this there's my circle um, and it doesn't look very nice at all at the moment and one thing I can do is to turn on anti-aliasing anti and the way to do that is um, on your graphics 2D say g2 dot uh, set um, add rendering uh, not add rendering hints actually I think I want set rendering hint that's the one um, and I need here the, so rendering hints have like keys and values and um, the key here is going to be rendering hints let's add the import there dot um, or maybe it's rendering hint yeah there we go rendering hints um, and I want to turn on anti-aliasing so say key anti-aliasing here and the value is going to be rendering hints dot value so you see, see these are structured in keys and values and I want to set anti-alias on I don't know quite why it's got this strange syntax but that's how it works and now if, if I run that now you can see that it really does look like um, a nice little circle there um, let's add one more shape for this tutorial um, let's say g2.set color 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 dot blue and I'll say g2 dot draw and uh, so the uh, not draw actually fill again I'm going to use fill again um, and draw and fill both take a shape and ellipse 2d dot double is a type of shape and there is actually a line shape that you can use um, so line 2d but what I'm going to use is um, there may well be other shapes I'm not sure but usually use line ellipse and uh, rectangle and here I'm going to use actually rounded rect rounded 
uh, I think it's called Rounded Wrecked Rounded Wreck Tangle to D dot double let's just see if I can add the input there control shift O and uh, unless it's called round rect round yeah um, there we go round rectangle 2D sorry round rectangle 2D so I want that and I'm going to say new round rectangle 2D and I think we've got a double there we go we've got a double constructor again um, so you see they've, they've provided kind of double and float um, versions of these classes I'm not really sure why but this is how it works and once again if I hover my mouse over there having added the import I can see we've got um, uh, XY width height and then the arc width and the arc height and that, that arc width and arc, arc sorry <laughs> the arc width and arc height control the width and height of the rounded bits on the end so let's say uh, let's put it roughly uh, in the middle like three uh, maybe 200 this is going to be off to the left a bit, 200 um, x, y and width and height so the width I'm going to make it maybe maybe 300 and the height let's make it quite not very high let's make it like um, maybe just uh, 20 and then arc width I'll have that at um, 20 as well and arc height let's set that at 20 let's see how that looks um, so now we've got that rounded rectangle there. Actually, I'm going to make that maybe a bit less wide. So let's reduce the width um, to one, maybe 100 actually, and the height to um, maybe also 100. Um, oh no, sorry, that's X and Y, isn't it? So let's leave that as it was. It's awfully confusing. Okay, so that's X, Y width, I want, I want to uh, reduce the width possibly to 100 and the height to 10 ok that's um, probably what I want so um, in future tutorials I'm going to show you how to turn this kind of into a bat that's going to hit this ball so we're going to have a really really simple game with no, I'm not going to bother putting any scoring in because I'm sure I can leave that to you but a really simple game just to demonstrate some um, further techniques like using timers and double buffering and animation this sort of thing okay so we'll leave it there for this tutorial join me again next time and until then happy coding